This is a dime right next to him. That is a very, very tiny catfish. All right, so today we're gonna be moving my little honeycomb catfish into this tank right over here. Now, he's been in this little 10 gallon, the La Lupe cichlid, and he's been doing really good in there. He wasn't eating at first, but now he's actually like really coming out, like hunting for food now. And this is a video I got the other night of him actually coming out for the first time and like really, really surface feeding at night. It was pretty dang cool. And he was just going around the surface and just picking off every little bloodworm that he could find. But I've been wanting to move him into this tank right here because it's more of, you know, just a bigger tank and I'll be able to see him a lot better in this tank as well. And he's not going to get very big. He's not going to get, you know, much bigger than the Cory cats that are already in here. So what actually is in this tank right now where there's not a whole lot of fish in here because I've taken quite a few of them out actually because I wanted them in different tanks. And some of the fish I just really was not really liking in this tank. But you can see one of the blue cars right there, the Ram Cichlid and the two Agassiz I Cory cats. And one thing I noticed about these guys the other night uh, is that how much they have grown. You know, it's really hard to see how much they've grown in this tank because they're a small fish in a very big tank. But I started really looking looking at them and they have definitely grown quite a bit since I put them in here. They have really, really fattened up and just gotten bigger overall. And then there's an angelfish hiding right back here behind the rock wall. So, as you guys saw in the last video, I did move the pike cichlid out of here into the African cichlid tank. He's been doing really good. We're going to go look at him here in a second. But I also ordered two geophagus for this tank earlier in the week, so I'll be getting those this weekend for it. So here's the tank that the honeycomb catfish is in. As you can see, uh, it doesn't have the best lighting and everything, and it's just not looking the best right now. And I am actually going to be rescaping this here and within the next week or so and putting a better light on here but he was just out here a few minutes ago service feeding i should have filmed it that's really hard to make out but if you can see him right there that is him and he actually went right there behind the filter so we're gonna go and get this guy out of the tank and into the other one which by the way there's the little la lupe cichlid right there oh, oh there he goes look at him his belly's all fattened up right now this guy loves some blood worms yeah he's been doing really good in here it's been looking really really good and i i just think they're a very cool fish looks really good off the dragonstone and like green plants and stuff like that and that's why i'm going to be keeping dragonstone in here but i just want smaller pieces so i'm going to trade in my bigger pieces of dragonstone for some smaller pieces and i uh, just make the scape look a little bit better and also with a be much better lighting as well oh, oh there he is there he is oh i got him did i get him yeah, I did. So there he is right there in the bag. You can see him all running around. This guy is just such a cool little catfish. And uh, they're just a very unique one as well. I'd never seen or heard of them even until I was at the Petco a few weeks ago and just saw him running around in one of the tanks. And uh, yeah, he's a very small catfish and he's going to stay this small as well. He's not going to get much bigger than this. All right, there he is right there. So we're going to go and put him in the tank, let him start acclimating. And we'll come back in about 15 minutes and go and put that guy right on in. Yeah, another tank that I'm going to be rescaping. So I took all the gravel out of here just a few days ago, drained all the water out, cleaned the rocks off. I'm going to be keeping these rocks in here, but I wanted to change up the look of this tank and just make it look a lot better than what it was looking like. Also, I think what I'm going to put in here instead of the Celestial Pro Danio, since they're a little bit more harder to come by and really hard to come by some actually really good and healthy ones or just some guppies I think we're just gonna make this our guppy tank and uh, yeah it's gonna be really really cool so I ordered the sand for it a few days ago it's coming in today and I'm actually gonna be rescaping it today and you can kind of see what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna keep the filter and the heater over here and have kind of a flow going like that and uh, it's going to be really, really cool once I get this thing up and going again. Also, there's the Pike Cichlid looking and doing really, really good in here. Very active. Uh, he's been getting along well with the Cichlids. Cichlids have been getting along very well with him. And yeah, he's just been doing really, really well in here. And I actually fed these guys a few minutes ago. And you can see he's already ready to be fed again. Gave this tank a really good clean. Uh, this tank just grows a lot of algae and it's not because of the light. The light, you know, is nothing out of the ordinary. It's just because it's right by the window and it gets all that outside sunlight. And yeah, it just grows algae all over the place, like every single side of the tank. But the electric blue jack Dempsey's are looking and doing really, really good in here. These guys are one thing that does show up very, very good off the sunlight. That blue that the big guy has is just amazing. Look at that. And like I've said before, this little guy, he's very pretty as well. He's just a lot more darker in coloration than, the, you know, the bigger guy. And what was crazy is that I got these guys at the same exact size, and they were growing at pretty much the same rate. And then all of a sudden, this big guy just, like, doubled in size. It seemed like overnight. It's pretty crazy. And now, he is just one beautiful fish. The orange tank is looking and doing really, really good. All the fish in here are very active and all fattened up. Just fed these guys a few minutes ago as well. And there's the albino pleco that we got in the last video, who is uh, not doing his job because he's back here where there's, like, practically no algae yet. 
where he could be out here having a blast cleaning up all this algae on the gravel and the reason why I put him in here and as you can see he is not he's back there behind the heater you can't even see him actually from right here not doing his job though so yeah I probably should have went with the gold Chinese algae eaters over the pleco they just do better in smaller tanks anyways but we're gonna be turning this tank into a Christmas themed tank here in a few weeks anyways so it's not too big of a deal all right so it's about time now to go and put the little honeycomb catfish into his new tank now just to give you guys kind of a comparison this is a dime right next to him that is a very very tiny catfish you can just see how tiny he is being right next to the dime so we're gonna go and put him in the tank now all right and there there he goes. Oh, oh, look at him. The car checking him out. And there he is. Look at him up there at the surface right now. Right in between that current. He'll go down here to the bottom here in just a second. But right now, he's just trying to kind of figure out where he's at. But look at that little guy. He is so tiny in here. And honestly, the Cory Cats might be about the same size, if not even bigger than him. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes now. And uh, he's pretty hard to see. But if you look right there in between that little crack in the waterfall... That is where he's at. See, see his head right there? That guy notched himself in there. So yeah, that's probably going to be his hiding spot for now. And uh, it's really going to take him, you know, a good few days or so to really kind of get used to the tank and all that. But I think it'd be cool to actually get a few more of these guys in here instead of just having one in here and, like, get, you know, two or three more in here along with the two Cory Cats. I think that'd be really, really cool, and that would definitely bring him out a lot more. But yeah, I'll definitely give you guys an update on him in the next video. But that is going to be pretty much it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, if you're new to the channel, let me know what you think about the honeycomb catfish being in this tank right here. Let me know if you think I should get more of them. And also let me know what kind of videos you want to see. So drop some comments down below, like I said, and if there's any kind of fish or anything you want me to get for any of my tanks or any kind of designs or scapes or anything like that, definitely let me know as well. But with that being said, you guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.